What is happening YouTube and all you Dolphins fans and today I want to talk about the Miami Dolphins uh, running back situation. I want to talk about uh, free agency, what guys are available out there and uh, yeah just guys that I think would be great for the offense uh, no matter what that offense is going to look like under new offensive coordinator uh, Chan Gailey. So heading into the Dolphins uh, 2020 offseason period the team's running back room is incredibly devoid of elite viable talent. Most of us thought that Kalen Balaj and Kenyon Drake uh, would be the guys this season, or at least combined to be a dynam dynamic running back duo, but that certainly just wasn't the case at all. Uh, Drake, just like his first three seasons in the league, was just grossly misused. His snaps were limited, and it's just a real shame because I really think that Kenyon Drake is just he's a great football player. He's just a, a dynamic uh, player. He's got tremendous speed, and uh, yeah, he's just a playmaker. As we saw after his trade to Arizona, he definitely made himself some cash heading into free agency. Uh, he was a great uh, sidekick for uh, Kyler Murray in that offense. He was just absolutely dominating. Uh, and as for Kalen Balaj, there really is just nothing to say. The guy just has no idea how to create yards for himself and plays nothing like a six foot two, 203 pound running back. I mean, he ran absolutely no nobody over. Uh, this past season and he's got unbelievable speed as well and he wasn't able to showcase that at all I mean granted our offensive line is just that was absolutely terrible the worst in the league but you know as a running back you just have to be able to to create yards for yourself uh, you know we saw guys like Mark Walton and uh, you know Miles Gaskin be able to do that uh and, yeah, just Kalen Balaj. He just clearly isn't the guy moving forward. Who knows if once our um, offensive line improves after this offseason, you know, he might he might improve as a player. He might, you know, those the holes might be bigger. He might be able to, you know, get to the second level and make things happen. But I, don't know, I just do not think he has the, the talent and the um, creativity to, you know, just get chunk yards. Uh, his position on the team is just clearly up in the air heading, heading into the 2020 season. Uh, heading into this offseason, the Dolphins have an absolute plethora of draft picks and around 100 mil in cap space uh, to tackle the running back room. Uh, I'm sure that the Finns will be, will be taking a running back or two in the draft, but today is all about free agency and what free agent running backs are available on the market as we move towards the free agent uh, period in March. Uh, these are players that I believe would make an immediate impact on the offense and help to turn that side of the ball into a well-oiled machine that can attack a defense from all angles. Uh, I also want to mention uh, Patrick Laird and Gaskin. Uh, Patrick Laird, I really think he's a great uh, pass-catching running back. I mean, it could be it could be a similar uh, situation situation to Balage where you know he can't create yards for himself because of the offensive line, but. I really think he's he's actually a much better player than Balaji. He, he does a great job of breaking tackles and uh, yeah, plays plays with great strength at, at the position. You wouldn't expect it from a guy that looks like uh, Laird and uh, Miles Gaskin. Towards the end of the season, you could see you know his ability and his, just his vision to you know see the holes and uh, you know make things happen. Uh, he could be a solid piece moving forward. And another guy to mention is Samar J P Ryan. Um, who we got off waivers, I'm pretty sure. We, yeah, pretty sure that's how we got him. But uh, yeah, he's a big, strong running back, and I really liked what I, what I, what I saw from him. He's just his uh, his pure power and just his weight. I think it, I think he weighed in at 240 pounds with the Dolphins. So yeah, just that size allowed him to just pick up you know eight, nine, ten yard runs, and uh, yeah, it could be something to look forward to uh, in the future. So, obviously, here at the top of the list, uh, the absolute cream of the crop is Derrick Henry. Obviously, uh, the possibility of Henry leaving the Titans this offseason is just close to impossible uh, at this point. Uh, after, the, after the amazing run the Titans uh, had in the playoffs with Derrick Henry leading the way, uh, he was just an absolute unstoppable force that led the team in, to the AFC Championship. I mean, he had multiple 30-yard, uh, I mean... 30 carry games and you know they leaned on him heavily i mean ryan Tannehill wasn't even throwing you know 10 passes in some of those games he had like seven eight passes uh, they were just leaning on him extremely heavy and he did absolutely did um you know answer the call 
he is an absolute outlier at the position at 6'3, 250 pounds. He can win by just running straight through guys. You know, his stiff arm is definitely the best in the league. But he's just got that sneaky, sneaky speed. And just for a guy his size, the way the way he turns the corner is just <laughs> you don't think he's moving that fast, but you know, he outruns a lot of guys. He's got that he's got that upright running style, but that doesn't stop him from uh, you know, getting to the outside and then just uh, beating guys down the sideline. But uh it's going to take a lot, a lot to get him away from the Titans. Also, a lot of money to sway him away from the Titans. I'm sure the Titans are going to franchise tag him. I think the franchise tag for him is like 12, 13 million or something like that. So he's either going to get that or they might agree to a, a similar deal to uh, Ezekiel Elliott. I think he, uh, Derek Henry has come out in the media and said that he wants a similar deal to Ezekiel Elliott. So if the Dolphins were willing to give him that, I would absolutely love him on this team. I mean, just imagine Derrick Henry. Um, what kind of an uh, what kind of an element he'd bring to the Chan Gailey offense? He'd just be absolutely great for whatever quarterback is under center, whether that's Ryan Fitzpatrick, Josh Rosen. Hopefully not. If it's Tua, Jordan Love, Justin Herbert, whoever it may be, uh, Derrick Henry. I would love him on this offense, and uh, yeah, he is just absolutely my top choice. Uh, he's probably going to sign for like. Three, four years, who knows, like over 60 mil. Um, yeah, Dan McHenry is going to get huge cash. Another guy is, um, he's kind of a cream of the crop, is Melvin Gordon. Uh, he didn't play as well last season. I mean, he's no Derrick Henry, but he was a first round pick and uh, he's definitely a talented running back. Um, he's got great vision. Uh, he plays with great uh, play strength and power. And he's also got great speed. Um, and he also can catch the ball at the backfield as well. Uh, Melvin Gordon is definitely going to ask for less um, this free agency period, especially after he held out um, with the charges and that just absolutely bared no fruit. There was an absolute waste of time for him and uh, he ended up losing cash as well. So he's definitely going to try and make that up in free agency. But yeah, he's definitely not going to command a kind of contract that uh, Derrick Henry will want at this point. But I think he'll be affordable for the Dolphins. He's a much better option for us. I would definitely do not think that the, the Chargers are going to re-sign him. I think they're possibly going to re-sign uh, Eckler, Austin Eckler, who's in my one of my guys later on in the video. Um, but I definitely think he's going to get free of, of Los Angeles. And I think having a talented running back like him would be great for this offense and just great for Miami Dolphins football. Uh, the next guy is Jalen Rashad. Uh, he's played the last I don't know, three, four, five years with with the Raiders. Uh, he's a small running back. He's five eight, five nine, but uh, I absolutely love his running style. Uh, he's just he's got tremendous speed and uh, and just great contact balance, just great power. Uh, he does a just great job of picking up chunk yards, and he's great in the passing game as well. He's got tremendous hands, and uh, yeah, he's always a great option. Um, for uh, the quarterback in the passing game. And I just think his game is absolutely perfect for uh, today's NFL. He's just, yeah, I love his game. He's got just great speed and just a yeah, overall solid football player. Uh, the next player on my list for the Dolphins is Peyton Barber. He's played for uh, the Buccaneers for, um, I don't know, three, four seasons or something. Uh, Peyton Barber is a guy that I like. Um, similar to the last few guys, Jalen Machard. And uh, Melvin Gordon, he's just a, a talented running back. Uh, he knows how to pick up yards. He's got great burst uh, through the line of scrimmage, uh, running to the outside or uh, between the tackles, between the guards, uh, you know, the A, the B gap. He's just a big, strong, fast, physical running back that would uh, definitely lift the level of uh, talent in the running back room. Uh, the next guy on my list, who I mentioned before, is Austin Eckloff. Uh He's played for the Chargers the last three seasons. Uh, he went undrafted, I know that for sure, but he is an absolute freak. Um, if you look up his, uh, I think it was like a regional combine or something like that. I don't, I'm pretty sure he wasn't invited to the to the official combine, the combine in, in Indianapolis, but he's an absolute freak of an athlete. He had like a 40 plus inch vertical jump. Uh, he, I think he ran like a 4-3 and that definitely shows up on the football field. Um, he's just, he's an absolute force out there uh, in the passing game. Catching the ball, he just makes guys miss you know, nearly every play of the game and just runs through dudes. And yeah, if you've watched uh, Chargers football the last couple of seasons, Austin Eckler is just uh, a tremendous running back and a guy that would be, it would just be great in this offense. He'd be a tremendous piece. 
And, uh, yeah, he's just a freak running back that um, just picks up yards every time uh, he touches the football. Uh, the next player on my list is Matt Breeder, uh, another undrafted guy uh, from the 49ers. I'm not sure if they're going to re-sign him at this point, you know, similar to, you know, the last uh, the last five guys. But Matt Breeder, like Austin Eckler, he's, he had absolutely freak numbers as well. Like at a regional combine, he wasn't invited either. That's probably why he went undrafted. But Matt Breeder has legit speed. I, I know for a fact he has a 4-4, I mean a 4-3. And that's just shown up his last three years in the NFL. You can just tell he's faster than everyone else that on the football field. And he just has elite, elite speed. And that's something that I'd love to have uh, in his offense. And uh, he definitely won't cost much. And um, yeah, just having that kind of speed on the offense always helps. And uh, hopefully we can pry him away f- from the 49ers. Um, next guy on my list is Gus Edwards. Uh, he is a restricted free agent, so... Um, sure that the Baltimore Ravens are going to be, you know, giving him a, a, you know, restricted tender or something like that. So it's probably going to be hard, hard to pry him away from the team. But Gus Edwards, he is an absolute power back. He's 240 pounds. And I just love to have a guy like him on our team. Um, doesn't mean he hasn't got the speed. He's got nice speed out there. You know, he's got more than enough speed to pick up the chunk yards. But just a guy, his size is just always great to ram down um, a defense's throat and uh, as you saw this last season with the Ravens, uh, he just complemented uh, Mark Ingram and Lamar Jackson perfectly. Um, yeah, he's just a power back who would be perfect. Um, Kareem Hunt, I've got him on my list here with an asterisk. Obviously, I mean, he's probably not going to play in the NFL again. Unless a team out there, you know, someone like a Jacksonville or, you know, just some team that can't get any life going. They might go ahead and, you know, take a chance on Kareem Hunt, but just to have, after his last incident with the police, you know, you don't want to take a chance on him, especially with Mark Walton. I mean, he had three arrests in early 2019, and we gave him a chance. We signed him. Um, he played pretty well for for us. He got, ended up getting suspended. Uh, I think that was from his um, previous arrests, and then ended up getting arrested again. So, you know, we ended up um, cutting him. But, uh, yeah, Kareem Hunt, his talent is just immense. I mean, you can see his, his rookie year um, with the Chiefs, you know, playing al- alongside Mahomes, just uh, in the running game and catching the ball. Kareem Hunt is just absolutely dominant. I mean, he's got tree trunks for legs and, uh, you know, he's incredibly hard to tackle. He makes guys miss. He runs them over. He's just, he's got it all. He's absolutely elite as a running back, but... Yeah, just wanted to mention him in, ca- in case maybe the Dolphins might take a chance on him. I mean, they took a chance on, you know, Mark Walton and Kareem, Kareem Hunt. You know, he's a much more talented uh, player, much more talented running back. But, you know, I'm sure they're definitely not going to give him a chance uh, after the, the Walton situation. So that's it for my list of uh, possible free agents that the Dolphins could be targeting. But honestly, these are guys that I hope that they would be signing um, players that can elevate the offense and just help us to transform into a, a running team, a team that can run the football down anyone's throat and just dominate the clock and, you know, and just run the ball week in and week out. That is something we haven't seen in Miami freaking since 2016, since uh, J.H.I. was um, dominating that year. So that's it for this one, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments section if I missed a few guys. Uh, you know, if there's a couple guys out there in free agency running backs that you would like to see on the team. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget, as always, it's fins up, baby. Things are looking good for the team.